Put it on D&D, my boy. I like how that's become a thing, D&D. I don't really ever put my phone on D&D. I'm just like, I just put it on vibrate. But then it does become a distraction, huh? You know what's a distraction? Apple Watches. Yeah. Bro, Apple Watches? You could be in a serious conversation having a heart-to-heart. Like, yeah. it's not you, it's me. Hold up. And then, you know, there's a lot of things that... Well, first of all, you look handsome come today. on may i say that please do say may it again. I say. and you know i, I i'm gonna give myself a little credit i feel like i'm i look a little different than normal see you, i feel like uh we're like like modern mr roger right now i feel like you just do your own thing i try to catch the vibe i'll be honest with you i'm a catch the vibe kind of guy okay i wasn't gonna wear this i oh, know i was wearing this earlier yeah okay and i was gonna change switch it up right but then i saw you post a photo and you yeah. were wearing that cardigan yeah and i said you know what i'm gonna catch the vibe yeah and I caught it. I, <laughs> I, I am very comfortable with my sexuality. Okay. I am very comfortable with my you sexuality. Are you trying to catch right now or what's going no, on? No, no, I am very comfortable. But I can acknowledge when a man wears like oh. a nice crew neck knitted sweater, like a really nice with nice jeans and se peina nice. Yeah. That's a very handsome man. Yes. You yes, know what I mean? It's a yes. very classy, elegant, yeah. mature man. I don't understand how men kind of make it a big deal to compliment other men. Mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's like you're if something looks good yeah if somebody is dressed well uh -huh. has a good body nice hair yeah and you feel like that and you're like i can't say that because you just described yourself didn't you i was like i was like what do i look like <laughs> josh Leo, you look very handsome today likewise my boy yeah, you I know I, like, i'm hey, trying come on you see the stance i'm also trying to get in that december holiday feel this ep if this episode is not jolly bro i'm gonna be pissed yeah, we should ask everybody like back at home like comment down below like should we dress more like elegant classy men who belong in zara posters <laughs> catches out your latest zara yeah yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> hey zara hit us up we'll do it for free yeah, for sure you that's zara this is zara too i think it is, is zara, zara actually sometimes is that you know, zara, dude? years ago i used to be super into zara and then i just i just wasn't my style anymore yeah I'll peek in a little bit. Karen likes to go to Zara a little bit. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll find some, like, I'm not like, dri like drip down in Zara. Yeah. <laughs> I'm got, not like drip got, down. Got damn Zara. I'm not drip down in Zara. <laughs> Sorry, I just came back from Wyoming. <laughs> I'm not drip down in Zara. Okay. But like, there's, there's, you can get some unique pieces there. I feel like you could. And Hence like, this cardigan. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I mean, when did you get it? Today. Ah, that makes sense. Because, yeah. bro, I'm not going to lie. I'm in Zara a lot. I love peeking into Zara. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the type of guy that'll buy something like that day and I, I'll, I'll wear it that day. Me too. I'm always like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll just buy something because I'm like, I don't know if I'll ever wear this, but maybe one day I'll feel like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll wear it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like I said, you look very handsome. Likewise, baby. And once again, welcome everybody to... <laughs> Sometimes I hit Something the wrong, wrong buttons. <laughs> um, welcome. Um... How are you? I'm good, man. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, I'm feeling. I'm feeling good. Yeah. I think that uh, we just got back from our trip. Yeah. We had to kind of postpone our shooting day just because we were going through it. We did. Uh, and uh, you know, we're we're here. We're here. And, yeah, and yeah. the people called us out on it. I don't know if you saw the comments, but they were they were I going in on it. I saw a couple. I saw a couple. I actually pulled some of them up. Oh wow! Did you? Because you know what, bro? I love that people call us out on stuff, especially missing Mondays, because you and I have coined the phrase. Mondays don't suck. Hashtag Mondays don't suck. And when we don't deliver, guess what happens? Mondays, Mondays suck. suck. Right. So this is what people are saying. What are they saying? Even though I saw some of the messages and I did feel bad. As you should. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but you should feel extremely what, what bad. What they say. It said, am I the asshole if I let my favorite podcast know they missed Monday again? A all caps. Oh, again. that's where it hurts when they say again. With all caps and exclamation points. I think there's... There's 13. <laughs> I just counted them real quick. There's 13. I'm sorry. Mondays did suck, man. <laughs> dude, dude, that's that's Susie. Susilita. She straight up said that. Monday sucked, lol. Guys, you get our hopes up. You get our hopes up. Have me at the edge of my Monday. Y luego nada. So should I explain? Because it kind of falls on me, right? It falls on me. Bro, there's, there's more. But, you know, I'll leave it there. The video was done. Obviously, we filmed prior. We were ahead of the game. Yeah. We filmed Richard prior. And I had it. But Hey, hold on. You should have said, no joke. We filmed Richard prior. That would have hit. Isn't that in somebody's uh, song? There is. Yeah, Drake. Drake, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah Drizzy. Um, so I, I, we, we had it filmed already. I had it imported. I, yeah. I actually started a little bit. Um, 
I, I couldn't get to it and I should have uh, the week prior. And it just, we get to Wyoming and, you know, I didn't do it on the plane, which I should have. That was my plan. Should have, could have, would have. You know what you did? You should have all over yourself. I did. Yeah, man. I did. So first of all, I want to apologize for not doing that. And I will definitely get better at it. Obviously, I've been better at it because I always do it on Mondays. They're always done. They're always scheduled, uploaded, blah, blah, blah. Right. But this time I was on vacation and then it was about to hit Monday and I was like, oh, I got to edit. And my friends were there, Sierra and, and uh, Jonathan, and they just started doing vlogs, they which did. is awesome. Uh, so tune in on, I think they post on Sundays. Down, down in Houston. Downey, Texas. Oh, my bad. Is what the YouTube channel is good. So <laughs> shout out them. Uh, we were with them all week. And um, I'm not going to lie. He told me, I think you were there. He goes, bro, I just, up I'm uploading my video. And I don't know how long his video is, maybe 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. And he goes, we're barely at 3%. It's been, it's been uploading for processing or uploading for two, three hours. Yeah. So I was like, And then he Damn. looked you in the eye. He said, but I'm about this. He didn't say that. Well, he probably meant it. Yeah, he did. It. Yeah, yeah. He definitely went up me though. Yeah. And then, and then he said that. So it kind of discouraged me. I was like, damn. And I looked at you in the eyes. I was like, we're effed. No, and, I said, you're effed. <laughs> and then I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Josh looks at me. He goes, bro, just relax. Like people love us. They'll understand. And I'm like, no, Josh, I got to upload it Monday. And then Josh is all like, enjoy your trip. And then I was like, fine. <laughs> fine. So we apologize for that. Yeah, and I'm so sorry about the man. The this is what the people are saying, bro. You know, I honestly feel like we should make this like into like a little segment type thing where we like talk about what people are, what, what's, what's, what the, what's in the, what's in the scoop. Is that a thing? Yeah, of course. What's in the scoop. Yeah. What know? do you want to call hey, it? What's in that scoop? No, I'm just saying like, maybe that's how you would use that <laughs> <laughs> expression. What would you want to call there's it? There's no scoop. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I was like, what scoop? I feel like you're a name guy. You're the name guy. You're, you're the nickname guy. I don't know. I mean, basically, what we're saying is la gente dice. That's pretty good, right? That could work. La gente dice. That that's a good one. All Comment right. down below. Or do you think there's something better than that? No, that's it. That's the name. You should. You think? So? I think that's the name. Okay. Yeah. 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 So I, d I definitely did. So I, I apologize. Like I said, I, I definitely did say that there was no service, which there wasn't. Yeah. Hold on. Can I? Hold on. You said what did you say? That there was no service. No, no, no. What, what was the name of the segment? La gente dice. What about? Uh, lo que la, la gente dice. Is that more correct? Lo, lo que la gente dice? Yeah. That's good. I like that. Lo uh, que la gente dice? I don't know. I just got a text from our producer who said that we should say that. <laughs> <laughs> lo que la gente dice is good. Yeah. Lo que dice la gente, I feel like flows better. Okay. It's, it's better off the tongue. Like say, say, look, say it. What? Lo que dice la gente? Yeah. And then say the other one. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah. What was it? Oh. Look. What was the other one? Oh my God. I'm like, you, I totally you just got, out. you just got me stuck. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah. So that was cool. But yeah, we had a good time. I had a great yes. time with you. It's one yes, of bro. our first trips that we've been doing. Like, I think it's our third trip together. I was about to say, I've known you for like, so long. So it's like, but it's like, we're barely starting to travel. We're, we're barely starting to do like the trips. That. Yeah. We're yeah. doing trips. So I had a great time with you, but I want to ask you, what was the best time that what was like the best or worst, um, part of the trip, part of the trip for you. Yeah. Mm uh that's a good question i do, i'm gonna be honest with you there's like trips that i take that are it was fun you know what i mean good trip solid trip i'm grateful that i was able to take the trip and then there's certain trips that i take that i will never forget and cherish for the rest of my life this one was not that i'm just kidding <laughs> this one was that trip for me it was i nice, had right? such an incredible time i feel like everything was absolutely perfect mm -hmm. from the moment we landed in wyoming and seeing the scenery wyoming is exactly what you picture it to be yeah especially during the time that we went it was like a winter wonderland like the mountains were just beautiful they were like right in front of your face it's like this painting that's just there and the sky looks insane uh it's just magical like that's the best way i could describe it yeah and i think that the energy that we all brought to the trip and just it was just amazing right i think if i i, I, I to, to my point like i don't think that there was anything bad that happened but if i had to pick one thing that i was like ah oh, damn we didn't get to do the um the the snowmobiling because they, yeah. they were closed yeah and i was kind of bummed out about that because i genuinely picked out an outfit for that yeah well we got played hard yeah so like i don't want to get too into it but what happened was we booked snowmobiling and like you snowmobile into like these hot springs which is really mm -hmm. nice that's um, the coolest thing ever 
So we all waited in the lobby because that was the plan. That was the email. That's what it said. I checked the email. I, I, conf I confirmed. Yeah, yeah. Nobody ever showed up yeah. for an hour. So, okay, there's something wrong. So then we called the, 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 the place. No answer. So we said, okay, cool. Let's go there and get our money back. Let's go beat someone up. We go there. The place is for lease. Yeah. We got scammed, bro. Scam, bro. Scammed. So I guess that would be like the bad part about the yeah. trip. But I feel like we made the most of it. Yeah. Because we found this like little tiny hole in the wall cafe. Yeah. And like took over it. And oh like we started singing happy birthday to Jonathan and got, you know. We ran through Wyoming. You can say that again. We were obviously probably the only Mexicans there. A hundred percent. But we ran through and we made a uh, big impact in Wyoming. We, we stood out, no doubt. Yeah. Damn, bars. Um, to the point where like we would walk into places and I would feel a lot of eyes and then I would hear somebody in the group be like, we're getting a lot of eyes, but it wasn't like bad. I think people yeah. were just like, oh damn. Yeah. Very Mexican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my best, uh, my best part of the trip was going to that hat store. Oh yeah. Where we got our sombreros. Yeah. Or what do you call sombreros in, in, in English? Cowboy hats. Cowboy hats? Yeah. Is it just hats? And they're lame. Oh yeah. It's just cowboy hats. Is it just hats? Yeah. I think there's another word. Guys, help us out. There is another word there for cowboy. There has to be another word Straw for hat. I don't know. I don't know. Cowboy hat. I don't know. So we got there. We went there and it was like a whole experience. The place was called Kimo Sabi. That's such a cool name, too. Okay. How much did you spend on your hat? No cap. <sighs> Humble flex. Humble flex. And you didn't know it was going to be this no, much. I had no idea. But you were like, you know what? F it. I'm already in deep. Let's yeah, go all out. That's what How I, much exactly was what it? I did. Damn, you want me to just say it? Can I'll say it. I'll say how much. I, I was right next to you when you paid for it. I feel dumb saying how much it is, but... It was an experience, though. I agree. And you'll I have agree. that hat for the rest of your I'll life. I'll never get rid of that hat. Yeah, ever. but I, I I would never spend again that much. Never for a, in my life. For never a in hat. My life. Yeah. yeah, how much was it? Uh, The hat. The price yeah, of the at hat. Kimo Sabi. The price your of the hat. Your custom Josh Leva hat that you picked out perfectly for your head, and you customized it to your flavor it was one thousand eight hundred and sixty four dollars <laughs> for a cowboy hat that i got in wyoming at god Kimo damn Sabi. you look so good god in damn it. i look good and it's so sick it's sick bro i paid i think the same amount a little less you got <laughs> some really yeah, yeah barely but like you you know yeah and me and josh looked at each other and we're like there's no way the hat alone was like eight hundred dollars yes yes it was actually kind of ridiculous but i will say the only reason why we were so like positive about it was because the experience that Kimo Sabi gave 100%. us yeah. was just so like personal. And honestly, I've never had a shopping experience like that. Yeah, me neither. And to be with everybody and yeah. to be in Wyoming, I was like, F it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, Sh you know, shout out Gigi. She was my girl. Yeah, Gigi and Caleb. Yeah. So yeah, they'll yeah. probably, they, I don't think that's They might our, see it. Eh, I don't think that's our demographic. <laughs> probably not. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully was, they do. That was quite the experience. Yeah. One of the coolest shopping yeah. experiences I've ever had, just like you said. Yeah. And uh, I don't regret buying it. Yeah. It was a ton of money, um, but worth it, man. Yeah. Worth and it. it being that I look at that every day since I've gotten it. It being that much, I'm like, I'm going to wear it. I might wear it to the Christmas party. Yeah. So, and we got some good picks. Man, we look good. So that, that that's it. But the worst part about my trip was that I was so crudo, bro. Wait, but I'm not on the trip. No, I was crudo the next day. How down bad were you? I was down bad, bro. I can't drink like that no more. I can't. I can't drink like that. I'm already at an age where not only do I get anxiety and I feel like I'm going to die. No, it's true. That's like fast. my body hurts and yeah. I'm barely feeling okay. And I can't destroy my body like that no more. I can't. And the thing is like, you know me, I'm all about fitness. I'm a golfer. I'm a boxer. I'm a cyclist. Mm -hmm. I'm a husband. I'm a son. Mm -hmm. Sex God. And can we just say I'm a podcaster? God damn. Multitasker. So the fact that I don't really drink like that, like that anymore. Yeah. I shock my body when I do it. Yeah, it's not and good. Dude, I'm just hurting, bro. You know, I love drinking, but you know, we're literally poisoning our body. Yeah, as 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah, we need to slow down. 100 huh? percent. And the worst part is, is that in Wyoming, there's nowhere to fix a cruda. There's not. There's nowhere to fix a fucking cruda. Bro. I literally was drowning myself in salud. I was Same. dry scooping them Same. straight to the dome. Same. That's the only thing that saved me. Because what would you do if you, what do you do here in Southern California or yeah. here in the United States where it's, you know. Mariscos. Mariscos all that's, day. That's my shit. Bro, me, me tengo que enchilar. Yes. I need to I have some sweat. aguachiles. I need to sweat it out. I need to create out. a sauna in yeah. my body. A michelada. Yeah. Bro, there's no micheladas out there like that. 
There was none. There was none. I don't even think those people know what that is. No. Amichi who? No. What'd you call me, son of a gun? Michelada. Nah, she ain't here. No, no, no. She's in the back. Somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that? <laughs> no. Uh, do, you yeah. think, do you think you got more drunk than me, or do you think I, I took the cake on that one? Like, who do you think got more lit? I don't know, bro. I feel like you got more lit than me. And you think a, so? I feel like... I feel like almost the same. I feel like almost the same. But I, I just... I only say you because there was a time on the trip where you really just outshined me because you drank a Das Boot. And if people back True. at home don't know what that is, True. which I'm sure you do, and especially for all the guys out there, I know you know what that is, is when you drink the big old German boot. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So Well, that, I got challenged. Yeah. Well, then, well, you know me. One thing about me, I never back down from a what? A challenge. And that's what I didn't do. Yeah, and so, I did it in a minute and four seconds, which I was pretty impressed by. Yeah, but it's hard. It's hard to fix a crew out there. I feel like... Yeah, I, I, you do a better job at hiding your drunkenness than I do. Yeah, but I, not, I feel like I show a little bit more on my face because I'm always like really bright, but when I'm like drunk, I get a little like sleepy. Yeah. No, I would wake up, I'd feel like shit, and then immediately like I can't handle it. I can't handle feeling like that. Yeah, I just can't. So the, what I do is immediately like I go beer. and I drink. Uh, I no, I drink at least two beers, bro, because then I'm like <sighs> my nervios go down, but. And then, and, then, and then my nervios will go down and then I'm like feeling good and then I keep drinking. But I'm just masking it all. So when I get home, toma tu chocolate, yeah, cabrón. Yeah, yeah. Like it's bad, bro. Yeah. I was shaking. What's the expression? Uh, drinking is borrowing from tomorrow yeah. to enjoy today yeah or something like that yeah like you're borrowing happiness from tomorrow yeah, yeah. because you are gonna you're that's what you're doing yeah because well, the next day you're gonna feel like shit what is it called serotonin your serotonin levels are like yeah drained drinking and having a good time and people who do drugs and blah 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 you know feeling all ex you know ecstasy and blah blah, blah. i yeah. don't do that by the way i really don't but when you do <laughs> stuff like that yeah you're taking away from like you're you're, you're grabbing all this happiness yep. that you're yep. storing yeah and that's supposed to be like dispersed like little yeah. by little so they say you have come downs because basically what happens you is have what come downs or like you feel like shit withdraws yeah. because when you do stuff like that drinking or drugs or anything like that um some, one of my friends uh, told me perfectly it's like you're grabbing so much happiness from you and you're using it all at once but guess what it's all borrowed. I you got to give that. it back. I literally just Did said you that. just say that? Literally just said There's that. no way you just said that. You don't that. listen, dude. There's no way you just said that. I that. just said borrowing from tomorrow. <laughs> I'm having this yeah. today. What? You just reworded. My, you just chat GPT what I said. Nothing, you said reword this in a different manner. Nothing that you say matters because the way that I'm going to cut it, <laughs> it never happened. It's going to be like you came up with it. No, you know, I was leaving. No, but that's what it is. bro. Yeah. It, uh, it's crazy how that works. I hate anxiety i feel like it's a new thing i started experiencing like in my 30s anxiety like it's the worst feeling in the world the shakes like it's you start the worst and there's another thing that i feel and i, I don't know if this is part of anxiety but anxiety i call it like guilty conscience where you feel like mm -hmm. you did something that's wrong. the worst that's the yeah worst. and you're like what did i do and like, you start like trying to recap and yeah. you start asking people like i was killing yourself right that yeah <laughs> yeah even though you were good yeah but you start thinking like why do i keep doing this to myself yeah. um ya estoy grande. like why like why do i have to do all that like yeah. you know but when i think like that i just try to be like no no, no i'm just having things the anxiety but yeah I, I can't do it anymore i can't my body hurts like my my, my legs hurt my bones hurt my and muscles child. and that's what it does because alcohol just dehydrates your everything and when you're younger it's easier for your body to, to take recoup. that yeah to recoup but no yeah. recoup but Damn, yeah, man. I don't like those type of attributes. No, not at all. Not at all. But I feel like all in all, bro, we had a good time. No, we had a great time. We, it, was, it was incredible. I feel like we, uh, uh, you know, we like, I don't know, bro. It was just a ball, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. you know, having you, having the friends that we surrounded ourselves with, it's just, it, that, that, that's what it's all about. I agree, man. Is, I agree. Um, yeah. So that was definitely um, something that I really liked. Bro, something else I saw in the comments what? was people were debating whether... Debating? You know, last episode, you and I give each other the most epic, most incredible high five mm -hmm. ever, right? Yeah. And you, do you know what you said? What did you call it? Dap? Okay. I think I said dap. Okay. So Bye. in the comments, people are saying, is it dab or dap? Oh, with a B or with a P? Correct. So which one is it? Do you know Do you know which one it is? Like, what is the correct one to, when you greet somebody, when you greet your boy and you hit him with a... It has to be with a P, dap. Uh, I think it's with a B. 
I'm pretty sure it's with a P. Do you want me to double check? No, dap with a P is 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 hitting a, a pen, right? Or hitting like a, a weed thing. Am I, no. am I wrong? Or it's the other way? It's the other way? Oh, shit. You're right. You're right. Dap with a P. So dap. Dap with a P. Yeah, look, I got it right here. Okay. A dap is a friendly with a P. Yeah. Is a friendly way of greeting somebody. Uh-huh. Usually by handshaking, pound hugging. First of all, don't ever say pound hugging. What's pound hugging? You never heard of pound hugging? Pound hugging? Well, how do you pound hug? You want to show me? Yeah, I'll show you later. Fist bumping or chest bumping? Yeah. Greetings. Yeah, greetings. yeah. a greeting. A yeah. dap with yeah. a P. Yeah. And then dabbing is is with like weed, I think, yeah. where you hit a dab or something, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys didn't know, the correct way is dap when you're greeting dap. somebody. And when you're taking a rip ripper, it's dap. Dab. Buh. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever hit a dab? Uh, I'm scared of weed, bro. Yeah. I've experienced really bad anxiety with it. I yeah. won't. I won't really touch it. You see it. I get scared. I yeah. get. I genuinely. I'm like. I'm good. Yeah. If I do it, it's it's really lightly. Yeah. And that's rare. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I wish I could because yeah. I think weed is cool. I'm like, you know, what I mean, let go. I can't even imagine you being, being a little stoner. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Hold on, dude. You gotta take a ripper. I gotta go take a rip real quick. Is that what they call it? A ripper? I don't think they call it a ripper. Oh, okay. <laughs> But there's one thing that that it's known as. Do you say I gotta take a I gotta take a dab real quick? Do no, you say that? I don't say that. What, what's the term when you're like I well, got? Well, because I think dab with with a B is there's like weed there's like weed oh, oil or like uh, something like that. Okay. And there's a specific way to burn that, and then you take a dab. Or I think it's maybe the oil with a pan. Take a dab. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not like a big stoner. Yeah. But. Um, no, if I do that, I just say, I'm just going to... Y'all got some weed. I just, yeah, I just... Let like, me take a hit. I'm just going to take a... Oh, I say take a rip. Yeah. But not a ripper. <laughs> I think you need to do start saying... Do not say ripper <laughs> out loud. God, they'll be like, yo, are you a fucking narc? Yeah, but I was going to tell you before we go on break is that there's actually a thing that... Because you know everybody uses those pens that you smoke? Yeah. They have like oil and like... Oh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. A marijuana? Yeah. Um, there's a thing called a blinker. Oh, you got to hit a blinker. A yeah, blinker. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know about that. Those are crazy because those pins have like a, like a, like a, a timer, like a time limit yeah. that you can keep ripping. And oh, they're scary because it's like people are doing it for like 10 seconds until the thing blinks. And it's like, bro, hit a blinker. And basically we're saying like, it's gets, a big ass hit. It gets super lit. Yeah. Damn. This is off topic, but kind of on the same thing. Have you ever heard of a sidewalk slammer? A 40 ounce? It's a 40 ounce that you drink halfway and then you fill up the rest of the 40 ounce with a four locos. Whoa. Yeah, bro. That's disgusting, bro. It's disgusting. And you've done one. Of course. When? Havasu, 110 degree heat. <laughs> There's no way you're doing swear that. Swear to God. At, the, at this age? I did it like two years ago with my brother. Okay. I, so I got to keep up with the youngins. I'm like, you got, you call this a sidewalk slam? And you got faded. You know, not necessarily, but we kept drinking throughout the day on top of that. So that's what I think just the amount of alcohol we drank. But that didn't like take me out. But we did the math and I think it's a total of like eight to 12 beers at uh, once. Uh, I can't even do those drinks anymore. Yeah, I know. And I used to a lot. You did. You were a Four Locos guy, huh? Well, yeah, in high school, yeah. You're a sick fool. And huh? right after high school, yeah. And then before Four Locos, it was Juice. I remember Juice. Remember Juice? Yeah. And then Max. I don't remember those. Yeah, they're called like Max or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I mean, sadly, and I don't recommend it, but sadly, before I was 21, you you know, your older friend- You were would, drinking underage? Yeah, your older friend would buy one. That's crazy, man. And then- you know somebody. You would get a four logo because that'll do the job. And yeah. then you go to the club. How much would I have to pay you to take a sidewalk slammer with a blinker? Oh my God. I don't make the rules, man. Uh, and then do it like here? Yeah, live. On La Platica, live? live? Yeah. Bro, I don't, okay, the, the sidewalk slammer, you don't have to pay me. I'll just do that as like a homie thing. Okay, but you gotta, yeah. I gotta give you a time. Yeah, I'll give you a coupon for that one. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I a blinker? On top of I, it. No, I'll freak out. I can't get that like. Okay, so you see how you just said, I'll do the sidewalk slammer, no problem? Yeah. I had to add something because I knew you'd do that. Yeah, no. And I, how, so how much do I have to pay you? To do a blinker? To do a blinker with a sidewalk slammer. Well, then I feel bad because I don't want you giving me your money. What's the bare minimum? Hundred bucks? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> For at least a rack. At least a rack? Yeah, at least. Nah, there's no way. Bro, a blinker? I'll be tripping for like an hour because it's I don't like being that like stoned. Don't you think that the the sidewalk slammer will kind of balance you out? 
Because a lot of alcohol. We're not, you're not drinking a beer, bro. You're drinking a full 40 with a four locos. Yeah, you're telling me to do something super extreme Correct. with alcohol and then hit something super extreme with a blinker. Two extremes? I get the whole negative and a negative equal, you know, a positive. Yeah. But not in this situation, brother. So you do it for a racco? Yeah, a racco. I'll do it for a racco. You want to give me a racco? You ain't going to give me a racco. I'll tell you what, bro. You Like to really convince me to do that because I don't smoke weed. Where I would be like, oh, fuck, all right, you know what, I'll do it. It need to be 10 racks. Because what the? I know that's crazy, but I won't do it. Like, if somebody was like, I'll give you a thousand, I'll be like, I'm good, bro. You know like, crazy? I'm good, because it'll ruin me. People do that just because. Right, yeah. But it'll destroy me. That's what I'm saying. That's another thing, though. I don't like it. I, like, I would never want you to do that, because yeah, just, I love you. Yeah, it would And that me. feeling of the anxiety that, yes. that sometimes when you smoke, it is the most horrible right. feeling, right. and you feel like you're going to die. Yeah. So why would I do it for less than $10,000? Like make it worth my while where I'm like, you know what? At least I got 10 racks. I don't know, man. A blinker? So more is a double? 20? I don't, <laughs> I don't think I can. That's my price tag for that. Yeah. A, a, a sidewalk slammer, I'll do it for free too. I'll do it right now. Wow. <laughs> right before I break, I want to show people what you guys should drink though when you guys do have time to like something hydration, something hydrating. Okay. Um, my friend Tyler, he's from Alabama yeah. and, uh, they're called Gator beers. Love those. Yeah. It's so good. Especially with like an orange or a lime Gatorade. It's gotta be lime But you gotta me. get the fat ones. Gotta you get gotta the get the fat ones. The ones that have like a big neck. You know what I'm talking about, right? The fat Gatorades. Yes. Okay. So what you do is you get a Gatorade and then you drink it to the neck. I'll, I'll show a picture. It's to the neck. It's like right here. You drink it to the neck and then you put a light beer in there, like a Michelob, ultra, yeah. a Bud Light. Yep. Last time I did ultra, it was fine. And then boom, that's it. And then you're just drinking it, but never drink past the neck. So then you drink it again towards the neck. Oh, I got you. So the whole beer is not going to fit there. You're just kind of refilling it. To the neck, yeah. Yeah. So then you drink it and then to the neck. And got then you it. drink it into the neck. And then and then sooner or later, it'll just all be beer. Yeah. Until it's all beer, then you can finish off. But it's actually really good. Like you would be surprised what like a Michelob Ultra or something with Gatorade with those flavors. It's Delicious. actually really good. It's it almost really good. tastes like a Gatorade seltzer. Yeah. And it's really good. Have you ever had a man mosa? I like how we started talking about alcohol. <laughs> no, what's, what's a man mosa? So you know what a mimosa is, right? Mimosa, you know a mimosa. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Orange juice you and like, champagne. You've never heard that word before. Yeah. Well, I, like, I like mimosas. Yes, yes. With a little bit of champagne. Yeah. Man mosa is you add a shot of vodka or tequila. Oh, I know. Oh, just like kind of getting over a cruda. Can I tell you oh. something? Can I tell you something? It's not that bad. No, I, I get it. Yeah. When you're like energized <laughs> to drink. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. I love, how do you, how do you, how do you prepare your mimosa? I want to know. Are like you normal? Like yeah. normal? I'm not the biggest mimosa guy because I kind of get a little like headaches from it, but champagne with like a little bit of orange juice. Like people, what's a little bit of orange juice though? Dash. 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 I literally, when I know I'm going to drink mimosas, I get like uh what are those things that sometimes it comes on medicine where you just grab it and uh, you yeah, have little squeegee thingies? Yeah. Yeah. I, I get my mimosa, I put champagne in it, just one drop of orange juice. You just carry around your little squeezy thingy? Yeah, because I just want that's it. You just buy it on Amazon before and you just like I, oh, I have a ton. I have a ton of them. You have a collection? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty sick. By the way, I'm drinking um cucumber lime energy focus. I'd love to see it, man. La platica. Tastealud.com, 10% off, baby. <laughs> uh, and you got the Salud cup. It's a good cup right there. Man. I've had this cup yeah. and it's still freezing cold. Yeah. Four Yo, hours? People underestimate our drinkware and we have top quality drinkware. Drinkware. And it looks cool. Looks dope. <laughs> Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's go on a break. Let's do it. We'll be right back. Guys, I just want to tell you guys that. What happened? Pues, I que, didn't say anything. Que me la cagó Josh. And I'm not that mad. Me dio una nalgada and it hurt. <laughs> um, as you can see, he's just tying his shoes right now because he threw the shoe at me. And I didn't say subscribe to the channel. Mess up my shoe, man. And like this video.
Subscribe to the channel, like this video. <laughs> we are La Platica, and this is the Josh Leva, and I am Sebastian, and we are the hosts of the number one Latino podcast in the world. But we never said that. I've never said that, dude. Man. Never even thought it. If I'm being honest, man, if I'm man. being frank, I don't know who Frank is. But if I if I was Frank, yeah, I've never even thought that. Well, you wouldn't because you don't look like a Frank. I don't, huh? Trivia question. Sure, hit me. What's the nickname mm -hmm. that Latinos give Franks? If your name is Frank, como te dicen? And I'm just saying Mexico because that's where I go. But can I phone a friend? You could. Pero como le dicen los, los, a, los, a, los, a los Franks? Como les dicen? And you've heard, you've heard it. Pero como le dicen los Franks? Just, can I, phone, a, I heard a, the question. I know the question. It's, it's actually Francisco, but it's Frank Francisco because Francisco in English is Frank. But okay. Yeah. What's the nickname? What's like the short, like where for Richard is Dick. Right? Sure, but in in Spanish, like in you know, Oh, I got you. Okay, Mexican okay, okay, slang. Okay, okay. Yeah. And I don't know how if, if it's in other um países and stuff like that, but a los Franciscos, ¿cómo les dicen? Jess, can you help me out? I'm phoning in our producer, Jess. Pancho. Pancho. Panchito. Pan what is Pancho? Correct. Actually for you? And for Jess? She she got it. <laughs> yeah, it's called Pancho. Did I can't you know be that? wrong if you allow me to phone a friend. That's not the way trivia works. Well, be better. <laughs> but yeah, they call them Panchos. Did you know that Pancho, know Panchito? That. Any, anybody who 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 their name is Pancho Panchito? Yeah. Their name is Francisco. That's their. Original. I don't know who made that 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 up. Yeah, it doesn't really make so sense. You don't but, know the origin of it. No, I don't. But we can. Maybe next episode we yeah. can talk about it. That's that's interesting. Yeah. So did you guys know that back at home? I think you guys did. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, subscribe to the channel. You know what? You know what? I normally do the intros, and I'm tired of getting my ass whipped for it. You start saying it now. How the about intros? that? No, 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 no. Well, yeah. So if you want, if you want, that's your <laughs> okay. that's your job now. All right, bad, bad. That's your job. Can I tell you something? I'll never forget. <laughs> i will never forget yeah no that, that's a good thing though right yeah yeah because i always forget i don't know why i don't know why either but yeah <laughs> subscribe to the channel you gotta be you're a youtuber man i know you know what i'm saying well, I'm, I'm, like and subscribe i'm a cyclist at heart or first no you know what i'm at heart a great husband son ah, okay son and friend <laughs> let me ask you something that's Ser what I am in hey, a principio. Serious question. Serious question. Serious question. Serious question. Because you're getting you're getting a little out of, out of hand here. Uh -huh. Okay. Have you even finished your Christmas shopping? I haven't. You, I've started, but I haven't. I've started, I but I haven't. Heard you on another episode. Say what other you, episode? Doesn't matter. Your word is your bond. I am no episodes other than your episodes, man. man. You have said. I finished my Christmas shopping. I'm ahead of the curve. Oh, oh. yeah, I did say that because yeah. I thought I was gonna do it that night, but no. You know what? She's, you know I what? Just, you know what I, just happened, buddy? Caught in a lie. <laughs> Caught in a lie. Well, I'm still a great son, husband, husband, <laughs> husband <laughs> <and> friend. <laughs> hey, you know what? That you are. Yeah, that you are. So, so yeah, no. I, what about you? Uh, not even one present has been purchased for my loved ones. Not even one. <laughs> The thought, like the idea, I'm already planned. Like I know exactly what I'm going to get everybody. And I think that I've just been relying on that. I'm like, I'm not stressed because I know I'm going to get them. I just got to do it. Do you actually go to the and, mall? And you know what? I don't even think that's procrastinating. I already know what I'm going to get them. I'm just going to get it. Yeah, but I'll tell you this right now. I don't need to go to the mall for my gifts. Okay, but I'll tell you this right now. Go for one of them, I do. Yeah. We live in a day, day, what is it, day and age? Mm -hmm. Is that how you say it? Day and age? Day and age, yeah. That was very American of me to say. God damn. You God like that? bless you, buddy. Well, I just came back from Wyoming, buddy. <laughs> I say things like day and age and do I got a snake in my boot. And I will say this. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I smoked a cigarette in Wyoming. I felt like it was just right. That's and it was disgusting. Nasty. Yeah, it was <laughs> dead ass disgusting. Hey, but you, you look like a cowboy doing it if I yes, do say so myself. Yes, sir. American bread. Zara. Uh, yeah, um, I will tell you this. In this day... Day and age, <laughs> um, you get lucky if you get if if you haven't started now your online orders, you're not gonna get them before Christmas. 
I before think Sancho okay. Klaus. You, you got to go now, though. Now. You got to go right now. Yeah, because what's, what's, it's Monday today. What, what day is it today? Like the eleventh? I hope it's Monday. You, you got to go now. I hope it's Monday. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> suck. So, hold on, does no. it suck right now? It doesn't. No, no it it's doesn't. Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. It's Monday. Yeah, no. Um, you you yeah. got to order now. Are you the type of guy that does everything online nowadays? Um. Like everything that you're about to get your, your family, like yeah. it's all online basically? Or you just know and you're just going to either get it online or just pick it up? Uh, a little bit of both. I, I mix it up. Yeah, I mix it up. I don't have like, I'm just an online guy because yeah. there's specific things. Uh, like for my mom, I know exactly what I'm going to get her. I don't want to purchase this thing online because it's uh, it's like, it's expensive. Mm. You know, I don't want to be, sh- I don't want it to be shipped to my house. What that are you going to get her? A hat? No, I don't. Oh, she doesn't <laughs> listen to me. I'm going to get her $1,800 cowboy hat. Oh, we got her. No, she wants a Tiffany's necklace that she's been be- like begging for, like for years. <laughs> I've never gotten it for her. Um, Cause I forget. But this year I told myself I'm not forgetting that. Yeah. necklace. It's not that I forget. I just would get her something else that I know that not that she needs, but I'm like, mom, you need, you hear. So the, you're going to you get her a Tiffany's nec- necklace. Yeah. Mom, close your ears. I know. I'm about to say that. <laughs> Hopefully she's not listening. Um, but oh, that's really sweet of you. Yeah, um, so I don't want to purchase that online. Right. Like you can. Sure. But sure, no. I would feel more comfortable if I secured the bag myself. Yeah. With armed security next to me. Especially something like that. Yeah. Um, it's funny you say that about Tiffany necklaces. Um, it's great brand. I I love uh, Tiffany. And, what is it? Tiffany and Co. Tiffany and Co. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a really nice jewelry store. Um, Please don't shit on my mom's present. No, not at all. I would never do that. <laughs> How dare you even think about <laughs> I, me I felt like that's where shitting it was on a gift? If you can give your gift, uh, mom, and the way that you, the fact that you're gonna give your mom something is amazing. Yeah. Great son, just like me but... <laughs> and husband. No, just gonna say I think it's funny because I feel like I feel like moms love Tiffany. Yeah, it's a mom thing. Is it super mom? But is that like us, like, like, like like, Mexican mom? (laughs) Yeah, like Mexican moms love Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Latifa. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Because like we, me and uh, my wife, we've gotten um, our parents. It's Tiffany. Like it's a good brand, though, right? Super. And there's like tiers to Tiffany's. Yeah, right. Like really nice. They have like just your regular, and then there's like really nice, super expensive. That's the thing, though, right? Like Mexican moms love love Tiffany. Tiffany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's really nice. Have you gotten your mom a Tiffany's like anything before? Uh, I think we've got her a necklace and even like a ring before. Yeah, it's really nice. And Karen's the one that brought that up. And I was like, are you sure? Love their gifts, bro. <laughs> like, you got to let us know what your mom thought. Oh, she's going to love it. So what about you? Are you an online guy? Yeah. Can I tell you something? Do you feel like going on Amazon and doing everything on Amazon is almost like a cheat code? 100%. Yeah. Do you feel like it's like You're not tacky, but like the easy way out? Uh, no. Because they sell name brands on, on yes, Amazon. Yes. Here's where it's the but easy way out. But it's a one-stop out. shop. Here's where it's the easy way out. This is my opinion. Okay. If you get the Amazon... And you just gift it to them without wrapping it and putting that effort into it. You got to put the effort into it. Go buy it, whether it be a Christmas bag with a bow and or wrapping it up with, uh, you know, the nice paper. I think that creates where you are putting your effort in. Does that make sense? Yeah. But if you just receive the gift and you just like give it to them, that's lazy. And I want But lie. Amazon gifts are cool. 100%. Yeah. With everything. Because I almost feel like I'm cheating. I almost feel like Too I'm easy. not putting effort, effort yeah. into my gift giving. Um, are you creative with your gift giving? Yeah, of course. It's like a somewhat of a creative thing, but no, th- like, are you creative with like the present you're going to get people or do you just, yeah. or do you just like, tell me what you want and I'm going to get that for you? No, 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 no. But I think we talked about it recently and I said yeah. that me and Karen are going to give each other like a list of things that we, that we might need, but if okay. you want to get it for yeah. us, I've been in a relationship for so long already and I'll just be straight up. And I've had this conversation with my wife already. I'm tired and it's not that i'm tired because i always do it forever i love my wife i'm tired of always thinking to myself how am i gonna top last year or being unique again being unique again going out stressing myself out and i know she probably does the same thing yeah so now it's almost like a more i don't know like a more loving thing to do more like a gro- like i guess when you reach us i've been with obviously everybody knows how long i've been with her it's almost like, just show me a list of things and I'll just get them for you. Let me ask you a question. And I'll surprise you on, the, on, on what to do. And maybe I'll throw in a little bit of uh, my own little jazz to it. What is the best gift you've ever given to anybody? Where you were like, God damn, I'm good. That I gave to them? Yep. Do you know? Well, me and my wife, we, one time we, I think it was either last year or two years ago. I gave my parents... Uh, a luggage 
And inside the luggage was just like airplane stuff. Like, a, I think I, I kind of forgot. But then there was like a little toy plane. So when they opened it, they're like, what's this? And we told them that they can go anywhere in the world. And, wow. and it's on us. Karen is so creative. That was both of our idea, you <laughs> yeah, ass. <right. laughs> You're like, I forgot what it was. Yeah. But so, I was just like, cool. So I thought that was pretty, that is pretty that cool. That was pretty that, cool. That's super thoughtful. You know, because my mom and my dad, uh, they work they hard. Like, what does this mean? Like, yeah. What is this? So it was really nice to, um, to, to give them that. Okay. Now, vice versa. What is the best gift you've ever received? Besides the gift of life from your my, mother. Yeah. My mother gave me the gift of life, which I, I am in total debt with her. Big time. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, shout out to my mom <laughs> that we're going to have them on soon. So let's not forget about that. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to have to give it to my wife. Um, she is very thoughtful. She gave me a box. Was it for my... Well, it could be for my birthday, right? Well, cause was no, it any for, gift. It yeah, just a gift, right. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Gift, yeah. One time she... Um, she gave me a box and in the box was like little confetti paper and a bunch of eyeballs and like a, and like a card. And she put something super clever. I don't, I, I don't remember. It was something really sweet. And she gave me LASIK surgery. She, she, Oh, I remember this. She gifted me LASIK yeah, surgery. That's a really good gift. Man. And it was very thoughtful. I am the type of person that don't, I don't like to undergo surgery or any type of surgery, I'm, yeah. I'm scared. I'm scared Same. to especially do stuff for myself and me going out and, you know, doing it and making my appointment. But she got me LASIK and I was like, you know, me, ap me apreté los huevos and I was like, let's do it. And because she knew that my eyesight was, you know, I wouldn't yeah. say like it's horrible, but I couldn't see far distance. Yeah. And I got the appointment. I was um, eligible because you got to be eligible. Your, your, your cornea has to be thick enough for the laser to take a layer out. Also, your eyesight can't be adjusting. Like it's yeah, got to be steady. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, hence, I think that's what you say. Hence, I don't know <laughs> if, if that's going to make American sense. American boy today, man. I don't think that that's going to make sense, but hence you have to be a certain age. Cause uh, the, cause really, yeah, you have to be, I think past 26 or oh, something like that. I just thought that your eyesight couldn't be changing year after well, year. Your eyesight changes and it'll still but change, dr but drastically, but drastically, yeah. cause drastically, I think it starts changing by that time. Yeah. So after that, it's slowly, oh, if I that. Didn't know that, yeah, that's all eligible, eligible. And it was the most amazing gift because it changed my life. I, yeah, no, I don't use contacts anymore don't i don't use nothing it's 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 amazing i actually have better vision than 2020 i think it's either 15 20 or 2015 something like that wow but yeah I, I did that and it was amazing it was a really good gift that's a really good gift so i feel like karen has like a style of gifts giving like she kind of makes she's, it like she's a, the most, she's one of the most thoughtful people i know mystery is yeah. she a good gift giver well she's one of the most thoughtful people i know damn and i admire good gift givers like it's a i think it's so dope when people yeah. just like there's an art to it you know, there is, and not even an art to it, but it's almost like, this is who I am. Like, I, I like it, it's who she is. Like, if we go to parties, like, she's she's giving gifts, and she's not going, you know, she's taught me a lot. Like, she's not going empty-handed. I'm not saying I go empty-handed, but she goes above and beyond. Wow. Like, if you moved into a house, she's going to give you a big old care package, and it's just coming from the heart, not just because she wants you to yeah, think yeah, she's yeah. cool. Yeah. And because she wants you. <laughs> and because she's cool. Yeah, no, but... That was the best. What about you? Yeah, what's like the best gift uh, that I received? Yeah. Um. I growing up, I was like in love with basketball, and my favorite basketball player was Michael Jordan. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like Mike. Well, yeah. Bow Wow. <laughs> that was my favorite movie. Um. And uh, yeah, I loved Michael Jordan, man. And I just I love basketball. And um, my brother, he got me a Michael Jordan signed basketball, and it was honestly, it wasn't just a gift. It was. His Whoa, a real one? A real one, yes. It's Doubt that. Authenticated. Doubt that. You're going to have to take have it you, up with the big guy. Have, but have you like... I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be like the guy from Pawn Stars and be like, you know what? I I know somebody that 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 can uh, verify this. <laughs> Please. Yeah. No, I don't even care if it's real yeah, because no, it's, but not, it's awesome. not even about that. Yeah. It's his excitement for that. And I want to say like he had mentioned that that was one of the most expensive gifts he's ever got me. Oh. You should see the joy in his face when he gives me, gives me and my mom gifts. Yeah. He can't contain himself. Wow. He couldn't even know, he didn't even know how to present it. He was nervous giving me the gift and seeing him and just knowing how much I loved Michael Jordan and basketball and stuff, that meant everything to me. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like I downplayed it. Like I didn't, not downplayed it, but like, what's the word? I feel like I didn't give him the reaction that he deserved. 
Because yeah, I didn't want to overdo it, yeah. you know? But I was literally like, yo, this is How incredible. old were you? I was maybe, it was like three, four years ago. What'd you say? Wow, Marky, this is incredible. Next. <laughs> I'm like, That's all you What's got? next? I'm like, shit, this don't even got no air in it, bro. <laughs> no, it's in a sealed case and shit. <laughs> Michael Jordan. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, uh, I, I keep, I, I feel like we keep saying it, but yeah. he is the nicest guy. Nicest like, guy, bro. Like, the biggest, like, teddy bear. Yeah. I don't know if he hates when we say that, no, but he's no. the nicest, nicest guy yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, like Brandon says, uh, Marky Mark, the guy's so nice, they named Man. him twice. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's yeah. just an amazing person. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I also received a gift one time. This is also, like, a Michael Jordan thing. I um, I might have told this story already on the podcast, but I got, um, I, I, I was in middle school, and there was, a, we talked about this, the Michael Jordan chain. Remember, we did we have this conversation? Yeah, the one that's like a dog tag. Yeah, that's like a dog tag. And then that's a, that's uh, I no said this story. I said this story, so I won't say it again. Well, there's new, there's new listeners. There's no, okay, I'll say this story. You can, you can summarize it. Something <laughs> yeah, sweet and short. Yes, I wanted this Michael Jordan dog tag necklace that I, I would uh, see everybody like wearing. I was everybody like, had it. It's the coolest chain I've ever seen in my life. Still and is. I was like, it is, right? And I remember I was dating somebody at the time. I was eighth grade. Um, and, uh, I would tell her, I was like, that's the coolest necklace I've ever seen. And a week later we broke up and about two weeks later after that, she starts dating somebody new. His name is Brian. I never forget that son of a bitch. I'm just kidding. Is that really his name? <laughs> yes. What a name. It's a great Imagine name. Imagine having two first names. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, she gifted him that chain that I wanted because he was also a basketball Damn. player. Damn. Yes. So one time I said that story to somebody that it broke my heart, shattered my heart. And for Christmas, they got me that chain. That's the amazing. Michael Jordan chain. Thoughtful. Yeah. Super thoughtful. So yeah. I was like, damn, that was crazy. Because I like I said that story and then it was like, Christmas wasn't around the corner. It was like Christmas was like six months away. So I was like, this is pretty badass. I think the best gift I've ever given is uh my mom this is when i first started like doing good like financially uh she would always like look at these like louis vuitton purses that she wanted and she there was one that she like absolutely loved so i like was able to get the screenshot of the purse and uh i remember i was in vegas and you know that the louis vuitton store mm -hmm. so i was like i'm gonna go buy my mom this yeah. purse like i'm feeling good i'm in a good place i'm gonna buy her this purse and um i bought it for her and um, she opened it and I know she meant well, but she was like, wait, this is the purse that I wanted. <laughs> we're going to bring that up. I was like, what mom? When mom comes, we're going to bring that no, up. She literally yeah, said funny. that. And she's like, no, no, no. Like, this is a beautiful purse, but I don't know if this is the one that I'd want it. And then I was like, well, listen, the receipts in the bag, go take it to Louis Vuitton. I'm not doing that. But the fact that you were able to do that, that's, <laughs> that's what it was. It was more for like me. It just meant, that meant a lot. And it's materialistic, right? Like it doesn't matter, but it just felt good that I, I finally able to provide for her in a way to buy her something that was, that she probably wouldn't have bought herself, but uh -huh. that her son could buy her. And it, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a luxury thing that I was able to give her. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Speaking about like gifts for like, like your mom and stuff, what do you think are good gifts for your parents? Cause I think that'll help out a lot of good people. Listening. Parents? Yeah. Good gift for parents. Yeah. That's uh get yeah, Parents are kind of tricky. Yeah. Um, just from personal experience, I, cause I want to talk about it cause that's what everybody's doing right now. It's what can I give my parents? That, yeah. To me, I think they're even harder than my wife, than my brother, than anybody. It's my wow. parents. Cause yeah. throughout the year, I try to give them like, like cool things. Like, me too. like not every year, but like, like for example, like my dad, um, he likes electronics and stuff like that, you know? And every two, three, four years, I'll upgrade his TV or his sound oh, system cool. or stuff like that. So, but that's throughout the year. But I feel like Christmas, like uh, sometimes I'll, I'll still do that, but it, I like giving more like something meaningful. Uh, like experiences or stuff like that stuff that he might not be able to um to uh do himself what if you were on a budget if i'm on a budget um for experiences or for like or just gifts mat yeah if i'm on a i don't know every, i feel like everybody's so different and i mean what's the budget because the, the, <laughs> you know what i mean like is it like calzones and shit or is it like it could be, but i always go towards like interests right so like if your dad like you said he's into tech and stuff like that like i would go in that direction like i would i think those simple things like that just like whatever their hobbies interests are yeah just like leaning into that like for example if your dad is into golf getting them a golf shirt if yeah. that's all you can get but is that budget is that budget because a that, golf shirt yeah because sometimes like that's kind of expensive are we talking about like 20 dollar things or are you talking about like 100 to 200 dollar things i mean it could range yeah, yeah. i think you, you if you're if you're smart you can find ways to be like yeah clever with like the i try to get my dad stuff pricing. like that yeah um my dad for some reason like he'll never buy himself nice clothes and not that he doesn't have nice clothes but 
he knows that his son is pretty swaggy. <laughs> so if I do say so myself. So so so, so I'll I'll try to get him like really nice items, you gotcha. know, that he can keep forever. Yeah. And it just I get a lot of a PR too with amazing people sending me uh, their their clothes and stuff like that. And I'll just give it to my dad, or whether it's new or used. And it just always makes my heart so warm. It always warm. Did I say it warms that? Warms my heart. It always warms my heart. Yeah. I just went back to Chunti. I was so American for a while. <laughs> I just went back to Chunti. Uh, when he's just wearing it, you know, yeah. like th or I, I've taken him shopping. Like, hey, dad, let's go to the mall and then just get whatever you want, you know. But what about the people, man? Just for the people. What do we get? What do we get? The parents. <laughs> I, that's what I was saying. Like, I just feel like intra, I, I think that's because there's so many things that you can do. Yeah. But like every, if you just know somebody, like, you know, like your dad and mom and stuff like that. I don't know my dad, but I'm saying like people that know their dad, like they would know what they like to do. <laughs> it's my dark humor, bro. I got to do it. Right. Uh, they would know what they like to do. And I think that's like the safest and like thoughtful gift. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I always give, like, try to get like my dad, for example, like nice underwear um underwear for men is so underrated man it's my it, favorite gift it's the best and socks yes and i know like that's such a basic gift but i don't think it is but but just don't get like the hanes or the fruit of the loom no like like make sure people are wearing something that they've never worn before luxury the nike ones the lululemon ones the calvin klein the calvin klein skims skims has really yeah, like I ain't, I ain't i ain't gonna lie the only thing that i liked from that men's collection was the underwear for me i didn't try anything else yeah and the underwear was fire yeah like the underwear was really really good so um yeah just but make sure it's not just like what they always wear it's something different mm -hmm. like you know like splurge on it like my favorite ones are like the nike ones the lululemons have really really nice ones and i've talked about it because i hate wearing fruit of the loom or hanes i don't wear that anymore because yeah. they get super wango and like you wear them for like an hour and you take yeah. off your pants and it looks like you have a skirt on <laughs> and it does not look cute. Yeah. So yeah. another one that I think is good give is uh slippers. I think slippers go under look too. Yeah. Slippers for the house. Boss. Yeah. I love that. Um, um, dads also like hats a lot for dads. Yeah. Like get, get them hats. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking about dads. Cause Please, you know, always want to cry. Yeah. You're going to, you, yeah. Your little too, dark yeah. humor wants to come out. <laughs> uh, and then for moms, I, I like to get my mom for Christmas and, and stuff like that. Like just like nice little experiences. Like, cause especially me, like having a Mexican mom, she'll never do this really for herself, but like a massage is always really nice. So, oh, she, can, so she can go and enjoy yeah. herself. Yeah. But not like the little $40 ones. Like the whole experience mm -hmm. was like a whole ass spa day. And it's important to do like, like a plus one too. Got to do the plus one. And you know, maybe you can go with your mom yeah. and stuff like that. But like, it's always good. Cool. Look, mom, I got you this. Si te quieres llevar a mi papá también o a tu amiga, have a girl's day. Or if you want me to go with you, I'll go with you. If you want me to go with you, but I'm pretty sure you'd want to go with your amiga before me, you know, and just have <laughs> yeah. a really good girl, girl's time. Yeah, yeah, you know? I agree with that. Something like that. that. Yeah. Um, I give my dad uh, gas gas cards. That that's a that's a good idea. That's a good one. You know, that's a good it's one. you got to think about the daily things that your parents do. Yes, that sometimes it's like it would be nice for them to like not do it that day or for that week. Yeah, I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, my dad yeah. travels all the time for work. Imagine if he just gets like gas card. He doesn't have to worry about it for that week. It would brighten up his week. Absolutely. It really would. Absolutely. Yeah, he's like this. Don't got to come out of my pocket. Yeah, sunglasses. That's good. I gave my dad some um, Oakleys the other day yeah. and he, he's obsessed with them and yeah. you yeah. know, he wears them all the time. And I feel like with like uh, Amazon and stuff like that, you can find some deals too. Oh my God. I love going on Amazon yeah. and just checking out like the electronics of the week or something like that. Yeah, and just yeah. like these crazy ass things that are so helpful in your day to day use. Yeah. So yeah, something like that. What about uh, like your significant other? Like, what do you, what, how do you go about that? Talking like general? Cause or just yeah. talking like me, cause I've been with my in general. Cause I think in general. yeah, cause I'm I think, here. I'm here to help the people out. I don't yeah. know if you know, I'm a people guy. Yeah, because I I want to talk in general because with me it's just I think it's a little bit different. Yes. but it can help out a lot of people that are in a long term relationship sure. too, right? Um, like how do you think about like when you're gonna go about Karen's gift? Like how do you, what, do you have a thought process? Do you have a strategy? Yeah, um, I think a lot of girls. Um, and and the thing is, is like a lot of stuff. There are some people that are very materialistic, which mm -hmm. is completely fine, but you can get all that, but always just make sure. I think it's really nice to like write, write a card. 
Ooh. like to, to 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 write down a card and just really tell your significant other just how much you mean to them throughout mm -hmm. the whole year and what you've done and you know spark up those memories that you've had that whole year and, yeah. and you know or, or you know have have some pictures uh print them out or you know stuff like that that you know they can cherish forever i like doing that i think know? that's such a beautiful touch to any gift any gift because you can think you can get them you can get them a shirt yeah and then writing a, like a, a thoughtful message just elevates that gift to another level yeah like why you got them the shirt you notice that you know they were always wearing the same yellow shirt and yeah just, that thing yeah. right there bro just takes it launches yeah. the gift and i have another thing to say too it's if, if you're in a relationship any relationship um especially new relationship um and maybe you guys aren't doing this but give each other stocking stuffers hmm. instead of like an actual gift that goes under the tree or you, whatever so you're saying for like people like how new in a relationship honestly any relationship if you're not doing it i think it's really cool to do that because stocking like a spooky basket but christmas version yeah but like stocking stuffer you know oh, okay like you can put little things in there that that they can really appreciate because the stocking stuffer basically means you thought about this really small, thoughtful gift. Yeah. And it's really nice. Like for myself, I love using the the um the little trees, the air fresheners, yeah. the black ice. Yeah, yeah. Like I love those. They're always in my stocking stuffer, your favorite yeah. type of gum. Um gift cards to your favorite places, like things like that. It can be so many things, but those things actually I think would uh you know brighten up, especially a, a woman's day. Hypothetically speaking, if you were not with Karen. Hypothetically, yeah. Karen, Karen, all hypothetical here. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, like what, how soon into dating would you get somebody a gift? Like, would you get somebody a Christmas gift if you just started dating them a week? Like then you start talking, but seriously talking, exclusively talking. Do you get them a Christmas gift? Can I tell you something? I'm going to tell you after the break. I need to know right now. <laughs> after the break. Has that been 30 minutes already? Yeah. Wow. Even if it hasn't been 30 minutes, I feel like this is a topic that deserves at least 10 to 15 minutes. Fair enough. What you about know, sneaky links? Do you get them a gift? Hypothetically speaking. Sneaky links? If, you if, had a sneaky if, gift. if people have sneaky links? Nah. Because once you give a sneaky link a gift, they're almost not considered a sneaky link. Ooh. And they really maybe think that the thing to themselves and you might confuse them, which is kind of fucked up too. That is messed up. I mean, it's fucked up in the beginning anyway. Yeah. So but, sneaky links, no gifts. I don't know. It depends what your sneaky link gives you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with what do you give? Somebody you recently just started talking to. Yeah. And if you can, if you should give them a gift or not. Because there's rules to this. There's rules. And I know all the rules. So we'll be right back <laughs> after the break. Let's do it. That's how you look very handsome today. You didn't. Can you tell me one more time, please? You look hold very on, hold on. How about now? You look very handsome. Wait, how about now? In your what what is it called a crew neck knit corduroy corduroy damn I actually don't know <laughs> and your your hair looks good today too just got a haircut bro not just one hair all the hairs go to break <laughs> <laughs> Late. So how soon is too soon for a gift? How soon is too soon for a gift? You know what my thought is? I always play it safe. Just get them a gift. Yeah. If you are talking to somebody, like I think, because you don't have to go extravagant. You don't even have to overthink it. There's so many simple things you can do. When you're just, when you finally meet somebody? Yeah, let's say you start talking to somebody for a, a month. Week, a month, sure. Let's give it a month. Bro, I'd go down to a week. Maybe a week's too soon. I, a he, week he, is almost, I would feel like, Damn, like, cause a week, you don't know if you like this. Like, yeah, you might like the person, but yeah. you don't know if you like, like, like the person. Let me take it back. I think a week, if you guys are planning to meet around Christmas. And I think if you're a guy, you should get your girl uh, that you just started, especially if you're into her, get her some, get her some light. It, I think, I think that's what you, I think what you said. Like light. if I'm going to meet up with you, we've been talking for a week and we have a dinner thing on the 26th. I'm going to bring you something. 
as like a little gift. Yeah. I, I think that's the way to do it. Play it safe. I agree. Yeah. And if it doesn't work out, she yeah. can tell her friends later. And let, we're just speaking like about a girl yes. because you're a guy. She can tell her friends later. Yeah, it didn't work out, but such a sweet guy. He yeah, gave so me thoughtful. a gift. At least yes. you gave yourself that. Yes. And then, you know, life can move on you being a sweet guy. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But like, what about if it's not the holidays? Like uh -huh. if it's not the holidays and, and you just met somebody, like how many weeks or months is it okay? No, it doesn't have to be your birthday. It's just you met her in August. <laughs> and you just want to get him a and, gift? And, and, and you guys are kind of dating. You guys are kind of seeing each other. Okay. How long until you give her a gift? Just a gift? Just just a gift. Oh, it's because gifts, obviously, we need a I birthday mean, it, it, per, or something. With purpose, yeah. Yeah, with purpose. Yeah. Okay, yeah, it can be. Well, let's just, hypothetical, hypothetically speaking, it can be your birthday. It can be anything. Yeah. That, can, that you can give a gift. I think it depends on but let, how back-to-back -back your dates have been, how much you're into that person, mm -hmm. and where you think that relationship is going to go. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're a week, don't break the bank. If you're a month, don't break the bank. If you're at six months to a year, that's where the gifts start. Need, they need to elevate at that point. They need to start getting a little bit more thoughtful. Then they start getting, not necessarily thoughtful, pricey, thoughtful, but more thoughtful. thoughtful. They need to start getting more thoughtful. Yeah. But. And I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm talking to somebody for, I'll, I'll do a month. A and month. Yeah, yeah. And say their birthday is right around the corner. Yes, I'm for sure getting them a gift. But if they don't get me a gift, that's going to hurt me a little bit. Yeah. Because it would just make me feel like. So you're saying a month. Yeah. A month is a cut? Yeah. Like a month, I'm like, we should get a gift, right? Like, where are we? Four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks. Don't you think? Yeah. If you, if you were dating somebody for four, you invested four weeks of your life. And you saw her every day. And it's day. your birthday. You saw her once a week. Every other day. Once a week. And you guys are talking every day or yeah. every other day. Yeah. You're building something. Yeah, I would give them a gift. If, if they didn't get you a gift, would you be mad? Or not mad. That's I wouldn't be <laughs> would mad. Would you be pissed? <laughs> you would, huh? No, no. I wouldn't be pissed. I wouldn't, be pissed. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be pissed. But I would question the relationship. Yeah. I would. Or I would just be like, well, dang. Like, I wouldn't tell her, but I would be like, I would have got you something, you know? <laughs> if it was like your birthday around the corner, you yeah. know? But... Yeah, so you're saying like three, four weeks is, is, is good and their birthday's around the corner. Like it, It's not creepy. It's not anything. Here's what I think. Because there's a lot of people watching that. They I, just here, got into a relationship. I, I got the answer. And Christmas is around the corner. I got the answer. This is my play it safe. Okay. If you're thinking whether you should or should not get them a gift, get them, get a, them gift. a gift. If you're in that debate, like, should I do it? Because yeah. you're already thinking about them in that manner. But if it doesn't cross your mind, don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it, sweetheart. Keep it moving. Now, what kind of gift would that be? That's what I'm saying. That needs to be light. I'm talking bottle of wine. Under 20 At bucks. least. Yeah. At least. Yeah. I'm talking, uh, yeah. like for me, bottle of wine is like the best thing. Yeah. Cause honestly, like it's <laughs> a not. A bottle of tequila, whatever. Yeah. Like a bottle of something, you know, yeah. like you play it safe like that. It's yeah. Good. Cause it's something. Yeah. Unos pinches chocolates. Yeah. Stuff like that. Algo. Something that point, romantic. It's, it's just really the thought that counts. Yeah. If I was dating somebody for like three, four speaking. weeks. Hypothetically speaking. Hypothetically, obviously. Um, and it was like their birthday right around the corner. Hey, on this day, like, uh, I want to take you out to a restaurant and, you know, give you a little something, something, um, not like, uh, maybe not even like a gift, just like a date that's focused around you that day. Oh, that's good. Instead of like a date, yeah. you know, like the, today's your day and I'm going to, you know, there's a full on date. Like, I don't know, like, I like, uh. I feel like I'm kind of like a movie cheesy guy. Yeah. So like I do like go-karts, movies, you yeah. know, um, dinner. Like stuff like that. I think uh, I like cheesy stuff. I don't know if you, I don't think you've ever been in this position, but th there was a point when I was single, um, I got, somebody gave me a gift for Christmas and I didn't get them anything. Ooh. And they were like, this, this shows me where we're at in our relationship. And I think that this, it is very that, telling. This, that was like a month and, and, prior. And, and you know what? You know what? She was absolutely right. Yeah. Because in my mind, it didn't even cross my mind. I'm like, yeah. why would I get her a gift? How long were you guys like, seeing each like other? Like a month. Yeah, it was like a month. It was early. Well, that's another question too. It's and, like, and I told her, I was like, you know what? That's absolutely fair. Yeah. I think we should see other people. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another question too. It's kind of like. I think it's telling about where you're at. I think it yeah, is. Yeah, it definitely is. Yeah. It is. Because I remember like me and uh, Karen started dating and. Dude, the she, she we had like 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 no really dinero para nada, and she still gave me a gift and I still gave Something. her a gift, you yeah. know. But it's also like how 
much do you like each other too right. you know right and we would frequently see each other and it was just like a thing you know i yeah. remember i went to washington to stay with my family and i came back and honestly it was around christmas like just like the situation maybe like a little bit more months that we were together yeah but came back and we had gifts and stuff she's always been better than me at, at that i admire gift people man yeah uh, good gift people yeah uh, like you were saying what about like sneaky links and stuff like that do you think they're deserving of a gift even though they're nice people no absolutely not yeah not i think you worded it perfectly before the break if you do you're crossing dangerous territory where you're going to confuse somebody yeah yeah you you no way you're playing with fire you're already playing with fire yeah you're, you're already you're it's it's piping hot you're taking your explosion yeah yeah because that's gonna like you're you're trying to do more than the sneaky link is okay so i don't know this but say you're barely dating somebody and you have a sneaky link are That's they not both a sneaky link. it's not a sneaky link right are they both sneaky links no right no because one has to be a main yeah you're dating you're dating uh i mean see they can get dicey i see what you're saying i think that if you have made one, uh, somebody believe that you are only dating them and they're like that's it like you're being exclusive then you having somebody else inside that's a sneaky link once you establish exclusivity anybody else outside of that that they don't know is sneaky link it has to be i have a question for you josh leva i have how do answers. you establish exclusivity uh what do you mean like what's the like, conversation look like yeah like like uh, like what's a good way for a man to because there's a lot of guys out there i'm not gonna like so a lot of guys suck at this yeah and they just expect girls to just know can't do that it's not a very manly thing to do right no 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 no. you should not no no no. absolutely not you need to establish that and, and how the, do and you because i feel that. like especially right now with your corduroy crew neck yeah you're that guy i'm in it right now you're like that guy i used to see on facebook a lot that's just like really good with like relationships and yeah. he would just speak a lot that was years ago the the movie Hitch was loosely based on my life. Oh, I can see that. Loosely. So and I was Hitch. How, how would you, how, how, what do you think is a proper way for a man to create that exclusivity and to make a woman feel secure? I would take them out to dinner, pick them up, open the door for them, flowers, okay? Sitting across from each other at the table. I will let them know how I feel and what my intentions are with you. And then I would ask, where are you at? So I could know. And then from there, once we establish where we're both at, we confirm that we are now exclusive if that's where we happen to be at. But I would leave that. I would say, hey, this is how I feel about you. I really like you. And you are the only person that I'm talking to. And I just want to make sure that we're on the same page before we continue, because this is where I'm at. I've told you this before. I am very comfortable with my sexuality, <laughs> but I just fell in love with you. <laughs> But you gotta do it like that, right? Like that's how it's, you lead the relationship. I mean, you said it perfectly. That's how you lead the relationship. Yeah, a lot of guys are scared to say those things. They think it's not manly. They they're very uncomfortable by the way that they say. It. I know this. Not Trust only me. that, just to, even on top of that, they're not looking for commitment. They're they're looking something, dude. I'll be honest with you. Most guys want their cake and eat it too. I've been there before. I've been that guy. I'm gonna go as far as I can go. As far as like, if the girl's cool with me not establishing anything, I, I've done it before. I just drag it on. And that's, that's what I was going to say. a lot of people do that. That's exactly it. And a lot of guys nowadays, well, I don't want to say nowadays because, you know, you know, I'm all about guy power too. Yeah. But a lot of guys, I can say this is, you know, and they weren't taught because maybe their dad's not like this or they weren't surrounded with guys like this as well. Um, if the girl's not saying anything, they're just dragging it along as well. And guys are, guys are cool with doing that. Yeah. You know, like for a woman, it's, it's an important thing. But for a guy, they don't really think about it like that. There's not a lot of guys like you out there. Mm. There's not. Yeah. There's I, not. There I, is, but there's also not. There's also guys that, you know, the girls really, the girl really likes them. Yeah. And they just can't squeeze it out of them mm -hmm. to really commit and to really have those type of conversations. Yeah. There's not too many. There is a lot, but not, I think there's more of the other ones. I think it's got to be, it's got to work. Like, I think we, like as people, we got to set boundaries for ourselves. So for a girl, if she's really into a certain guy and he hasn't made that, um, exclusivity he hasn't had that conversation that exclusivity conversation she needs to have a boundary for herself or a limit where she's yeah. like if he hasn't asked me in three yeah. months i'm yeah. walking away no yeah. matter how bad it hurts yeah you yeah. have to have that standard yeah. for yourself and because I, like i just said if not most men will just care drag it along 
because they're and comfortable. They're okay with that. They're okay with that. If yeah. it was, if if I'm speaking completely free right now, if it was up to most men, they would never. They would just let it go until That's what I'm saying. forever yeah. goes. So for all the guys out there, if you really like your chick and you haven't told her that, tell her that. You have yeah. no idea how important that is for a woman. Yeah, yeah. And I would say too, uh, another thing is, um, as for women, like. I think it's okay just let them do that right i think it's okay to trust that the man is going to do that and when you start applying too much pressure i think that's also not a good sign like, that, that's a good let, little devil's advocate yeah let it be let it be you like like i said set a boundary for yourself you really like somebody three months six months whatever that number is for you that timeline and then uh see what happens you know what is but the timeline though that's, that's, that's important I, I i think that's to to the person to the person because somebody might just be like i'm enjoying dating right now i don't necessarily yeah need that's to true commit. and yeah. you can't hate on that either no i don't hate on that at all yeah. especially if you're both on the same page but, but maybe you have that conversation okay i think if you guys are just talking and you're you guys are but there's way more girls uh there's way, there's way more guys out there that are okay with no i'm just dating right yeah and there's not as many girls that are okay with that I think you'd be surprised. And I think most guys sure. would be surprised too. I think sure. I think that we've le we've thought like, oh, like they want but the to majority? Be the majority of girls are okay with that? Not majority. Because what is cause Josh, what does that mean? That I'm just dating. That means that you're out. You're open you're to open. talking to other yeah. people. Which I'm I know that there's a lot of women out there that are open to talking to a lot of people, but for a guy that's easier said yeah. th than for a woman. Yeah. So I think if you're really dating and you guys really like are saying I love you and oh I love you oh you you're absolutely exclusive for saying I love you and if you're not and you haven't had the conversation yeah. and you guys are throwing around the love you word yeah that's messed up yeah but like meeting the family and being close that's and insane. stuff like that and it's already been like six months and blah, blah blah and you haven't had the conversation and you haven't had the conversation okay at that point I'm gonna like go back on what I said if you haven't had the conversation I think at that point it just becomes obvious yeah you know what I mean? I know, but that, that things like that go on. Yeah, and then if you're gonna play the card of like, well, we never established that. Like, you said I love you. Yeah. Like, you met my family. Yeah. Like, they have every right. But I think in six to eight months, I think you should make it official. And but that doesn't mean that it might work out later. But I think I don't think you should be wasting anybody's time from six to eight months. I agree. I think so. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So yeah. So wow. Were you, did you, uh, did you ask Karen to be your girlfriend? Did you guys have like the whole, did you ask her? I think I did. Yeah. How like, like soon or later? Bro, I, I was, I, I remember I was 19 years old. I didn't care. I was just like, yo, you're mine. And, and mind oh. you, mind you, I, I, I found her on MySpace. Like prior to that, I had a friend who worked with her at this place called Shogun. I know a lot of people know what Shogun is. Uh, it's kind of like a Tepon spot where they have sushi. It's kind of oh, okay. like a Benny yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I always knew who she was. So I always really liked her. Um, so once I literally like started talking to her, um, I couldn't believe it. So yeah. like immediately when I started to get to know, I was like, I, I want you. You're mine. Bro, it's so interesting. You have experienced like you've seen like dating evolve and you never were in that yeah. dating pool like with like social media apps and or dating apps no. and all that stuff. Like it's a whole different thing that you didn't even know about. No. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, because dating has changed a lot. I know, I see it. Yeah. I find I find it it's you would think it's easy. Er? Er. No. But it's not. You would think it's easier the way that you can connect with somebody nowadays. You think you're connecting with you them, but they're also connecting with twenty other people at the same time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And that that's crazy. Cause it's the options are say you're talking endless. to somebody on Instagram. Oh my god, I'm talking to her on DM, a random person, you know yeah. what I mean? Or on a dating app. Yeah. But most likely that person's talking to a lot of other people as yeah. well. And I'm not saying that's like a slutty thing to do or the guys either, you know? Yeah. But that's just the way it is. Yep. Until, you know, and then and then that's hard. Yeah. It's, I, you know, that's, that's scary. The options. I wonder if that makes, like nowadays, I wonder if that makes more people jealous or, or is it so known already that people aren't even jealous like that anymore? What do you mean? Like there's so many people that are dating, right? Yeah. And you probably already in the back of the head know that there's other people that are probably talking to them as well. Does somebody get jealous or do or have they been through it so much already that the dating wise nowadays where it's like I'm not even jealous anymore because I already know what's going on. Like does that make somebody kind of numb to the fact of they're probably talking to a lot of people. Well, I'm no, sure jealousy that, and exists. That goes, and, and that becomes a different conversation, right? Like if let's just say hypothetically speaking, you meet somebody through a dating app. 
right? And then you guys are like constantly dating. You definitely need to have the conversation like, hey, where I'm exclusive to you, I deleted the dating app. And they need to kind of reciprocate that as well. Like that's gotta be like, that's done. You can't have a dating app while you're dating somebody. Yeah. You can't still be sliding in people's DMs. Yeah. Like that's gotta but be, I know, I know. that needs to be expected. Yeah. And that's fine. But like, say you have Instagram and like you're public or something. Yeah. I know guys that get mad that guys like their picture. That guys, what do you mean? Like a guy likes a picture and that guy doesn't know who that person is. Okay. Like of if, another girl? Of another girl. Like if you, if you're dating, if you're, if you're, kind of talking to somebody and you're dating and she posts a picture and she's exclusive to you and there's nothing going on and she's loyal and blah, blah, blah mm -hmm. but she's public mm -hmm. and a guy will like the picture, her picture, yeah. some random guy. You don't know. She doesn't know who it is. Okay. That guy will get jealous because like, of that. Who is this? They get like an insecurity in them. Like who, why did this random guy like your photo? Yeah. There's guys like that. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. For that's sure. crazy. For sure. Um, I don't, I think that it's a little toxic to get mad at your partner if some random person oh. just likes their photo yeah, i think it's toxic but well. i think it's okay to like set boundaries of like if you're in a relationship and you don't feel comfortable with your partner liking other photos of like you know provocative photos or whatever it is i think that's okay yeah. i don't think there's anything wrong with that yeah. right like you're i think you have the right to have that conversation like for example like for myself if i was liking you know these like thirst trap that girls were posting and stuff like that yeah. i think that's disrespectful to my girlfriend I do, mm -hmm. right? 100%. But now she gets mad at me that a random girl liked my photo that I don't know, that she knows that I've never had a conversation with or nothing. Yeah, it's kind that's of toxic. toxic. Yeah. No, 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 bro. That is toxic. Yeah. Not kind, nothing. That's toxic. Bro. I think we should have a uh, episode called, Is That Toxic? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll definitely try to do something out like that. That's good. Man, what a great episode, Weppy. Wow, we went all over the place. We were Christmas gifts. Christmas gifts to, yeah, <laughs> that was cool. No, that's toxic, bro. <laughs> Hey, Merry Christmas. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> awesome, man. Um, great episode. Once I love again. talking about stuff like that, by the way. Me too. I, I think that it, it, there's no like definitive thing, right? Like it's just like every situation is so unique and different. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's just like cool because like you're like, you can look at it in this way. Yeah. Or what about this situation? And what yeah. about like that? And it's cool that me and you can talk about it because yeah. I've been in a relationship for so long. Yeah. And then you've also been in relationships, but yeah. like, you know, you've had more. Well, like, I've, been in, I've dated. You've like, dated more, way yeah. more than me. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's really cool that we can like go back and forth and, and, yeah. and say those things. Yeah. But man, I want to know what's on your guys' Christmas list. What's some good ideas for your mom and dad? Um, let them know down below because as much as we can help you guys out, just write list down below because other people are going to see that as well and it's going to help them out. <laughs> I know damn right it's going to help me out as well. Bro, I'd be looking I don't got comments. all the answers. I don't yeah. have all the answers. So I would love to see what good. you guys say. Yeah. I would love that. Uh, thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Hashtag Mondays Don't Suck. Subscribe to the channel, YP. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video, YP. If you want to say that, go ahead. I mean, you don't, they don't have to. How about you give them a little taste of what you would say? I would say exactly what you said times two. I'm going to say what he said times two. Louder. <laughs> what he said times two. <laughs> Follow us on Instagram, all our social media platforms. Uh, we'll see you guys next Monday. Yes, sir. Love y'all. Nos vemos en la próxima plática, my mind. Oh, we shall really. <laughs> happy holidays. Not yet. Or well, yet. Yeah, it's happy holidays, bro. Yeah, right? Yeah. If there's hell of traffic all day, like more than ever, ever, ever. Yeah. It's the holidays. We're baby. in the midst of the holidays. Bro, I went to the mall this morning. Why would you do that? At 12. Why would you do that? And there was no parking. <laughs> I'm like, damn. No, there's no parking for the rest there's of the year. There's nothing. It's the holidays. But you know, it's, 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 it's a nice fuzzy feeling, isn't it? I love the holidays. I love the holidays. And even, honestly, I even love the traffic. Psych. Debatable. <laughs> Good scene, Weppy. Bye. Bye, guys.